Conserved signature inserts and deletions CSIs in protein sequences provide an important category of molecular markers for understanding phylogenetic relationships. CSIs, brought about by rare genetic changes, provide useful phylogenetic markers that are generally of defined size and they are flanked on both sides by conserved regions to ensure their reliability. While indels can be arbitrary inserts or deletions, CSIs are defined as only those protein indels that are present within conserved regions of the protein. The CSIs that are restricted to a particular clade or group of species generally provide good phylogenetic markers of common evolutionary descent. Due to the rarity and highly specific nature of such changes, it is less likely that they could arise independently by either convergent or parallel evolution i.e. homoplasy or synapomorphy. Other confounding factors such as differences in evolutionary rates at different sites or among different species also generally do not affect the interpretation of a CSI. By determining the presence or absence of CSIs in an out-group species, one can infer whether the ancestral form of the CSI was an insert or deletion and this can be used to develop a rooted phylogenetic relationship among organisms. Most CSIs that have been identified have been found to exhibit high predictive value and they generally retain the specificity for the originally identified clades of species. Therefore, based upon their presence or absence, it should be possible to identify both known and even previously unknown species belonging to these groups in different environments. Types <inaudible> 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 Topic. Group specific Group specific CSIs are commonly shared by different species belonging to a particular taxon, e.g., genus, family, class, order, phylum, but they are not present in other groups. These CSIs were most likely introduced in an ancestor of the group of species before the members of the taxa diverged. They provide molecular means for distinguishing members of a particular taxon from all other organisms. Figure 1 shows an example of 5 A CSI found in all species belonging to the taxon X. This is a distinctive characteristic of this taxon as it is not found in any other species. This signature was likely introduced in a common ancestor of the species from this taxon. Similarly other group-specific signatures not shown could be shared by either A1 and A2 or B1 and B2, etc., or even by X1 and X2 or by X3 and X4, etc. The groups A, B, C, D and X, in this diagram could correspond to various bacterial or eukaryotic phyla. Group-specific CSIs have been used in the past to determine the phylogenetic relationship of a number of bacterial phyla and subgroups within it. For example a 3-amino acid insert was uniquely shared by members of the phylum Thermota G in the essential 50S ribosomal protein L7 per liters 12, within a highly conserved region 82-124 amino acid. This is not present in any other bacteria species and could be used to characterize members of the phylum Thermota G from all other bacteria. Group-specific CSIs were also used to characterize subgroups within the phylum Thermota G. Topic: <laughs> Multi-group or main line. 
Mainline CSIs are those in which a conserved insert or deletion is shared by several major phyla, but absent from other phyla. Figure 2 shows an example of 5 A CSI found in a conserved region that is commonly present in the species belonging to phyla X, Y, and Z, but it is absent in other phyla A, B, and C. This signature indicates a specific relationship of taxa X, Y and Z and also A, B and C based upon the presence or absence of such an indole, in out-group species viz. Archaea, it can be inferred whether the indole is an insert or a deletion, and which of these two groups A, B, C or X, Y, Z is ancestral. Mainline CSIs have been used in the past to determine the phylogenetic relationship of a number of bacterial phyla. The large CSI of about 150–180 amino acids within a conserved region of gyrase B between amino acids 529–751, is commonly shared between various proteobacteria, chlamydials, planktomycetes and aquificales species. This CSI is absent in other ancestral bacterial phyla as well as archaea. Similarly a large CSI of about 100 amino acids in RPOB homologues between amino acids 919-1058 is present in various species belonging to proteobacteria, bacteroidetes chlorobi, chlamydials, planktomycetes and aquificales. This CSI is absent in other ancestral bacterial phyla as well as archaea. In both cases one can infer that the groups lacking the CSI are ancestral. <laughs> Evolutionary studies based on CSIs A key issue in bacterial phylogeny is to understand how different bacterial species are related to each other and their branching order from a common ancestor. Currently most phylogenetic trees are based on 16 srRNA or other genes, proteins. These trees are not always able to resolve key phylogenetic questions with a high degree of certainty. However in recent years the discovery and analyses of conserved indoles CSIs in many universally distributed proteins have aided in this quest. The genetic events leading to them are postulated to have occurred at important evolutionary branch points and their species distribution patterns provide valuable information regarding the branching order and interrelationships among different bacterial phyla. Topic: <laughs> Thermota G Recently the phylogenetic relationship of the group Thermota G was characterized based on the CSI approach. Previously no biochemical or molecular markers were known that could clearly distinguish the species of this phylum from all other bacteria. More than 60 CSIs that were specific for the entire Thermota G phylum or its different subgroups were discovered. 18 CSIs are uniquely present in various Thermota G species and provide molecular markers for the phylum. Additionally there were many CSIs that were specific for various Thermota G subgroups. 12 CSIs were specific for a clade consisting of various Thermotoga species except TT. Letting gay. 
14 CSIs were specific for a clade consisting of the Fervidobacterium and Thermosypho genera and 18 CSIs were specific for the genus Thermosiphon, lastly 16 CSIs were reported that were shared by either some or all Thermotogy species or some species from other taxa such as Archaea, Equificae, Firmicutes, Proteobacteria, Danococcus, Fusobacteria, Dictyoglomus, Chloroflexi and Eukaryotes. The shared presence of some of these CSIs could be due to lateral gene transfer LGT between these groups. However the number of CSIs that are commonly shared with other taxa is much smaller than those that are specific for Thermota G and they do not exhibit any specific pattern. Hence they have no significant effect on the distinction of Thermota G. Archaea Mesophilic cronarchaeots were recently placed into a new phylum of archaea called the Thaumarchaeata. However there are very few molecular markers that can distinguish this group of archaea from the phylum Cronarchaeata. A detailed phylogenetic study using the CSI approach was conducted to distinguish these phyla in molecular terms. Six CSIs were uniquely found in various Thaumarchaeata, namely Synarchium symbiosum, Nitrosopumulus maritimus and a number of uncultured marine cronarchaeots. Three CSIs were found that were commonly shared between species belonging to Thaumarchaeata and Cronarchaeata. Additionally, a number of CSIs were found that are specific for different orders of Cronarchiata 3 CSIs for sulfolabales, 5 CSIs for thermoproteals, lastly 2 CSIs common for sulfolabales and desulfuricocles. The signatures described provide novel means for distinguishing Cronarchiata and Thaumarchiata, additionally they could be used as a tool for the classification and identification of related species. <laughs> Pasturellals The members of the order Pasturellals are currently distinguished mainly based on their position in the branching of the 16 srRNA tree. There are currently very few molecular markers known that can distinguish members of this order from other bacteria. A CSI approach was recently used to elucidate the phylogenetic relationships between the species in this order. More than 40 CSIs were discovered that were uniquely shared by all or most of the species. Two major clades are formed within this pasturellals, clade I, encompassing Aggregatobacter, Pasturella, Actinobacillus succinogenes, Mannheimia succinociprodusens, Haemophilus influenzae and Haemophilus somnus, was supported by 13 CSIs. Clade II, encompassing Actinobacillus pleuronomoniae, Actinobacillus minor, Haemophilus ducreae, Mannheimia haemolytica and Haemophilus parasui, was supported by nine CSIs. Based on these results, it was proposed that pasturellals be divided from its current one family into two different ones. Additionally, the signatures described would provide novel means of identifying undiscovered pasturellal species. <laughs> Gamma proteobacteria The class Gamma proteobacteria forms one of the largest groups of bacteria. It is currently distinguished from other bacteria solely by 16's rRNA-based phylogenetic trees. 
No molecular characteristics unique to the class or its different subgroups are known. A detailed CSI-based study was conducted to better understand the phylogeny of this class. Firstly, a phylogenetic tree based on concatenated sequences of a number of universally distributed proteins was created. The branching order of the different orders of the class gamma proteobacteria from most recent to the earliest diverging was enterobacterials, pasturellals, vibrionales, aramonidales, alteramonidales, oceanosporillales, pseudomonidales, chromatiales, legionellals, methylococcals, xanthomonidales, cardiobacterials, thiotrichales. Additionally, four CSIs were discovered that were unique to most species of the class Gamma proteobacteria. A2 A deletion in AICAR transformalase was uniquely shared by all Gamma proteobacteria except for Francisella tularensis. A4 A deletion in RNA polymerase B subunit and a 1 A deletion in ribosomal protein L16 were found uniquely in various species belonging to the orders Enterobacterials, Pasturellals, Vibrionales, Aramonidales, and Alteramonidales, but were not found in other gamma proteobacteria. Lastly, a 2A deletion in leucyl tRNA synthetase was commonly present in the above orders of the class Gamma proteobacteria and in some members of the order Oceanosporillales. Another CSI-based study has also identified four CSIs that are exclusive to the order Xanthomonidales. Taken together, these two facts show that Xanthomonidales is a monophyletic group that is ancestral to other gamma proteobacteria, which further shows that Xanthomonidales is an independent subdivision, and constitutes one of the deepest branching lineages within the gamma proteobacteria clade. Fungi. The exact phylogenetic relationship between plants, animals and fungi is not well understood. A small CSI-based study was conducted to elucidate this relationship. Four CSIs were used to place animals and fungi together as a monophyletic group, and exclude plants. These CSIs were found in two essential cellular proteins, elongation factor L and enolase. However, traditionally, this specific relationship between fungi and animals has not been supported. <laughs> 